and dislike for the sin. See, if you don't have contempt and dislike for the sin, to say, I repent and repent, that's not true. That's not true. You must have contempt and dislike. You have separation, detachment from that sin. That's repentance. There's a cutting the cord of association with that sin. You make an impassable gulf between you and the sin that you're not passed on to the sin and the sin will not pass on to you. That's true repentance and that true repentance will bring great things in your life in Jesus' name. Somebody should have said amen. Look at Psalm 51. Psalm 51. Here's true repentance. Psalm 51. I'm reading here from verse 1. Have mercy upon me, O God. According to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly. From my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. No excuse making. No giving of any excuse to say, I did this because of that. So and so lured me to that. So and so deceived me to that. No, not at all. Look at verse 4. Against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I. He forgot his position. He forgot his dignity. He came before the Lord and said, Behold, I was shaped in iniquity. In sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts. In the hidden parts, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with Aesop, and I shall be clean. I want to be clean. I want to be righteous. I want to be holy. I want to be pure. Purge me. Cleanse me, I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins. Blot out all my iniquities, create in me. What kind of heart? Tell me out aloud. Create in me a cleaner heart. He said, my heart is dirty. My heart is defiled. My heart is dark. It says, create in me a clean heart of God. Renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me. Tell me. It said, I got salvation before. I lost it. I got regeneration before I lost it. I got conversion before I lost that. It says, now you restore to me the joy of thy salvation. Uphold me with thy free spirit. This is genuine repentance. And look at verse 13. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Amen. Amen. Proverbs chapter 28 true repentance genuine repentance heartfelt repentance the kind of repentance that interests God the kind of repentance that brings the times of refreshing unto you unto us it says in verse 9 chapter 28 of Proverbs chapter 28 verse 9 he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. He that turneth away his ear. I don't want to hear that word of repentance. I don't want to hear about righteousness. All I want, I want the arm of the Lord, the power of the Lord. I want the manifestation of the greatness of Calvary, of his sacrifice to avail in my life. As for the word of God, I don't want that. Look at verse 9. He that turneth away is here from hearing the law even his prayer shall be abomination verse 13 he that covereth his sins tell me out aloud shall not prosper but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them 
tell me shall have mercy that's how the mercy will come and today it will come i said today it will come isaiah chapter one isaiah chapter one i'm reading here from verse 16. isaiah chapter one verse 16 wash you and make you clean put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes cease to do evil that's repentance that's repentance you stop the evil thing. You stop the sinful thing. You stop all those corrupting things it says. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Come now. After that, after you turn away from the sin, after you say bye-bye completely, I hate that evil thing because now I know what Satan has sent that thing to do in my life. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, tell me, they shall be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Verse 19, everybody one, two, three, go. Verse 20, everybody one, two, three, go. I will not refuse. I will not rebel. Verse 19, if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. I pray there will be genuine repentance in every heart in Jesus' name. In Jeremiah chapter 24, Jeremiah chapter 24, I'm reading from verses 6 and 7, Jeremiah chapter 24, and we're looking at verses 6 and 7, it says, for I will set my eyes upon them for good. I, I lost my amen there. Yeah. For I will, I will set my eyes upon them for good. I will bring them again unto this land. I will build them. I will build them and not pull them down. I will plant them and not pluck them up. And I will give them a heart to know me that I am the Lord and they shall be my people and I will be their God. I will be their God. It says, for they shall turn unto me with their whole heart. Not your part of their heart. They will turn to me with what? With their whole heart. Look at Micah chapter 7. When we turn to the Lord like that with all the heart, and there's genuine repentance, and we call upon him and he cleanses us, and he forgives us, and then the times of refreshing shall come in chapter 7 of Micah. Micah chapter 7, verse 18. Who is a God like thee, like unto thee, that partners iniquity, and passes by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever, because he delighteth in mercy. He will have mercy on you. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities. And thou will cast, how many sins? And thou will cast, how many of their sins? And thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Genuine repentance, the blessings that come as a result of that genuine repentance. Point number three, the bringing forth of transparent righteousness and true holiness. The bringing forth of transparent righteousness and true holiness. When we bring forth righteousness, holiness, as a result of that repentance, great things will happen. 
Matthew chapter 3, verse 8. Matthew chapter 3, verse 8. Bring forth, therefore, the fruits meet for repentance. Bring forth, therefore, the fruit meet for repentance. Psalm 4, I'm reading from verse 3. Psalm 4, we're looking at verse 3, but know that the Lord has set him apart that is godly unto himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Amen. Amen. As you repent and as you say, no more sin, nothing of this world in my life anymore. I totally, I fully, I completely, unreservedly, I repent of my sin, and it's going to be the bringing forth of righteousness. I'm not going to go back to that sin anymore. God will look at you with special favor, with special mercy. Look at verse 4, stand in awe and sin not. That's the result of repentance. Stand in all and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Psalm 37, I'm reading from verse 5. Psalm 37, we're looking at verse 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and it will bring it to pass. That prayer, he'll bring it to pass. That desire, he'll bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth the righteousness. And he shall bring forth the righteousness. As the light and thy judgment as the noon day. Amen. We're coming to Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10, and we're reading from verse 6. Romans chapter 10, reading from verse 6. Here it tells us, But the righteousness which is of faith, speaketh on this wise, Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring up Christ from the dead. But what says it? The word is near thee. Even in thy mouth and in thine heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, the Lordship of Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart, that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. He'll bring forth your righteousness, he'll bring forth your sincerity. It brings forth the goodness of the Lord in your life, even from today in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58. Are you ready? Verse 8. Then shall the light break forth as the morning. The time has come now. Your time has come now. What are you? Thy light shall break forth as the morning, yeah. and thy hell shall spring forth speedily. Yeah. There's no delay anymore. Yeah. Thy righteousness shall go before thee. Yeah. The glory of the Lord shall be their reward. Yeah. Then thou shalt call, and the Lord shall answer. Yeah. Answer has come today. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, it's repentance, the putting forth of the finger, accusing other people, and the speaking of vanity. If thou draw thy soul to the hungry, 
and satisfy the afflicted soul. Then shall thy light rise in obscurity. Thy darkness shall be as the noonday. The Lord shall guide thee continually. And satisfy thy soul in drought. And make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden. And shall spring up like spring of water. Whose waters fail not. And they that be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundation of many generations. Thou shalt be called the repairer of the bridge and the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, that's the holy day of the Lord, from doing thy own pleasure on my holy day, and call the day of the Lord a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words. Thou shalt delight thyself in the Lord. And I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. I'm going to read that again. He will cause you to ride on the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. And everybody said, True repentance and faith in Christ will bring salvation, will bring righteousness. This salvation makes us members of the family of God, and it grants us family inheritance. There's an inheritance for the family of God. And when you come to the Lord in true repentance, genuine repentance, and faith and trust in Christ, it brings you into the family inheritance. Number two, it brings birth right blessings. Just because you are born again, just because you are now a new creature in the kingdom of God, there is the birthright blessing. Number three, it gives us eternal life. Number four, it gives us redemptive rights, the rights of all those who are redeemed by the Lord. Number five, it brings us Christ's full provision from Calvary. Everything he has provided from Calvary, he gives unto us. Number six, it gives us assurance of answered prayer. It says, as we are calling, as we are talking, as we are praying, he will answer. He will answer your prayer. Number seven, divine healing and health. I said divine healing and health from the top of your head, your brain, your heart, your bones, to the tip of your toe. Every part of you will receive healing, divine health in Jesus' name. Number eight, freedom from principalities and powers. All those principalities and powers, their power, they snug the way from your life in Jesus' name. Number nine, that grants us authority and power. Authority and power. Number ten, it gives us undeniable victory. You'll be more than a conqueror. You'll be more than a conqueror. You're looking at your paper. I'm looking. I wanted your face to meet my face, your eye to meet my eye, so that there'll be an explosion of the mighty power of God in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Number 11, there'll be satisfaction and sufficiency. No scarcity in your life anymore. Plenty, plenty, plenty in Jesus' name. Amen. Number 12, eventually there'll be heaven and eternal happiness. Heaven and eternal happiness. I'm reading from Isaiah chapter 54. Isaiah chapter 54. I'm reading from verse 14. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 14. In righteousness shalt thou be established. And thou shalt be far from oppression. And for thou shalt not fear from terror, for it shall not come near thee. 
Verse 17, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Say that. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. I said, their righteousness is from the Lord, says the Lord. Victory, salvation, righteousness, healing, deliverance, joy. And everything that comes with true repentance upon your life in Jesus' name. Make it the beginning of times of refreshing in your life. Times of refreshing. Weariness will pass away. Dryness will pass away. Wilderness will pass away. Oppression will pass away. Every evil thing will pass away. This is my day. Where are you? This is my day. Where are you? This is my day. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. The beginning, the beginning, the beginning of times of refreshing. That's the repentance. That's the repentance. Make sure the repentance is real. Make sure the repentance is genuine. Make sure the repentance is full. Make sure the repentance is from within your heart. And you sin there? And you walk of darkness there? Any evil sin there? Get rid of that sin. Get rid of that sin. Get rid of that sin. Hypocrisy? Get rid of that sin. Secret sinning? Get rid of that sin. Hate that sin. Hate that evil. Separate from that sin. Separate from that evil. Don't be like Pharaoh. I have sinned and yet continued in sin. Don't be like Saul. I have sinned and yet giving excuses. Don't be like Balaam. I have sinned and yet continued in the journey of sinning. Break it, break away from it. Stop it from your life. Let this repentance be recognized by heaven. Let that repentance be real, sincere, deep, recognized by heaven. And then the times of refreshing shall come. He'll forgive your sin. Yes, I can tell. Forgiveness is coming to you right there now. Renewed salvation coming to you right there. And the power to go and sin no more getting to you right there now. New life. Abundant life. A righteous life without hypocrisy or pretense coming to you right there now. And the weakness of the Spirit of God testifying in your heart that your sins are forgiven, that a new life is beginning now. And I thought those old things are passing away. All things becoming new right now. Tell the Lord. This is what will write your name in the book of life in heaven. Genuine repentance and faith in Christ. Genuine repentance and faith in Christ. And you say, yes, Lord, I believe. Christ died for me on the cross of Calvary. 
He took my sins away. Makes me a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. Acknowledge the mercy of God. Receive the salvation of the Lord. Acknowledge the faithfulness of God. As you repent, He forgives. And He puts those things in the depths of the sea, never to be remembered against you anymore. Accept that. Believe that. Trust his mercy. He cannot fail. He cannot deny himself. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You call from the depths of your heart with true repentance. And you mean it. He knows your heart. He knows your heart. You mean it in your heart. Help me, Lord. Save me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Restore me, Lord. And grant me the power to live a straightforward, trustworthy, righteous life from now. And the times of refreshing shall come. Repentance brings salvation, brings righteousness, and brings innumerable, unfailing blessings of the Lord. Receive is done. Accept it's done. Confess is lordship. Believe it in your heart. Say it with your mouth. You are saved. You are healed. You are delivered. You are blessed. Believe in the arm of the Lord shall be revealed unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. And the believing people of God said, Refreshing time is coming. Why is it coming? Are you sure? Is he coming to you there? Where are you there? Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your love. We praise your name for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for what you have promised your people. I pray that this day, the arm of the Lord, the power of the Lord, the might of the Lord, the signs and the wonders will be revealed to everyone in Jesus' name. Bring us back to the good old days. Every life, every family, in every brother, in every sister, every boy and every girl, the success of the good old days, the power of the good old days, and the healing of the good old days, the health of the good old days, the salvation of the good old days, the righteousness of the good old days, the signs and wonders of the good old days. Bring it back again to everyone in Jesus' name. Cancel every oppression. Cancel every attack. Cancel all the suffering. 
take all the sicknesses away and I pray Lord your salvation will come to everyone in Jesus name righteousness for everyone in Jesus name triumph and victory everyone in Jesus name healing 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 for every sick person in Jesus name you are healed you are healed you are healed Lord confirm each and every life in Jesus name and the power to go and sin no more the power for righteousness the power to overcome temptation in the day in the night in the office at home on the road anywhere give it to everyone in Jesus name names in the book of life my friend there name in the book of life the newcomer there name in the book of life the people of God over here name in the book of life and bring assurance of the Holy Ghost in every heart in Jesus name Lord no weapon that is formed against anyone here shall prosper to my left, to my right, to my front, at the gallery, anywhere you are, you are more than a conqueror from today. In Jesus' name, every arrow from the enemy, every attack from the enemy, every any affliction from the enemy is cancelled away from your life. In Jesus' name, all the yokes are broken, all the curses are broken. You are free. You are free. You are full. Plenty, plenty, plenty upon your life in Jesus' name. Happiness and joy, goodness and mercy of the Lord to follow you all the days of your life. And at last, at last, at last, heaven will be your portion. Everlasting happiness will be your portion. And the Lord from now on till that time will keep on taking care of you. The blessing of the Lord be permanent in your life. He has lifted you up. You will not come down to the valley again. Lord, confirm it in every life. Confirm it in every life. Confirm it in every life. But thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray.